the county can touch you and none of the state. <laughs> <laughs> Paul! My God, you help you are! Well, Katie Scarlett O'Hara. So, you've been spying on me. And like your sister Sue Ellen, you've been telling your mother on me that I was jumping again. Oh, boy, you know I'm no tattletale like Sue Ellen. But it does seem to me that after you broke your knee last year, jumping that same fence... I'll not have my own daughter telling me what I shall jump and not jump. It's my own neck, so it is. All right, Paul, you jump what you please. How are they all over trouble? The Wilkes's gone the stew you'd expect with the barbecue tomorrow and talking nothing but war. How about the war? Was there, was there anyone else there? Oh, their cousin Melanie Hamilton from Atlanta. And her brother Charles. Melanie Hamilton. She's a pale-faced, mealy-mouthed ninny, and I hate her. Ashley Wilkes doesn't think so. Ashley Wilkes couldn't like anyone like her. What's your interest in Ashley and Miss Melanie? Nothing. Let's go into the house, Paul. Has he been trifling with you? Has he asked you to marry him? No. No, nor will he. I had it in strictest confidence from John Wilkes this afternoon. Ashley's going to marry Miss Melanie. It'll be announced tomorrow night at the ball. I don't believe it. Here! Here, what are you off to? Scarlet! What are you about? Have you been making a spectacle of yourself running about after a man who's not in love with you? When you might have any of the bucks in the county? I haven't been running after him. It's just a surprise, that's all. Now, don't be jerking your chin at me. If Ashley wanted to marry you, it would be with misgivings, I'd say yes. I want my girl to be happy. And you'd not be happy with him. I would, I would. But what difference does it make who you marry, so long as he's a southerner and thinks like you? And when I'm gone, I leave Tara to you. I don't want Tara. Plantations don't mean anything when... Do you mean to tell me, Katie Scarlett O'Hara, that Tara, that land doesn't mean anything to you? Why, land is the only thing in the world worth working for. Worth fighting for, worth dying for, because it's the only thing that lasts. Oh, Paul, you talk like an Irishman. It's proud I am that I'm Irish. And don't you be forgetting, Missy, that you're half Irish, too. And to anyone with a drop of Irish blood in them, why, the land they live on is like their mother. Oh, but there, there, no, you're just a child. It'll come to you, this love of the land. There's no getting away from it if you're Irish. 